Hey guys, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. My name is John Campia, and this is a special user submitted topic. Now, every day on the John Campia Show, Monday through Friday, we take live questions, and every once in a while, somebody will send in like a $50 or more tip, and when they do, I like to honor that by not just answering the question in the show, but also answering it in its own standalone video, and that's what we're going to do right now. And this one gets sent to us by Jude Auditor, who writes, Hi, John. Love your show, and I hope you and Anne are safe and healthy. We are very much so. Thank you very much, Jude. I appreciate that. I got a Star Wars question for you. What do you think balance in the Force means? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, there's been a lot of talk, especially the last couple of years surrounding what does balance in the Force or balance of the Force or bringing balance to the Force, what does all that mean? Particularly when it comes to like the prophecy about Anakin bringing balance to the Force. And then some people think because Palpatine is still alive and rise of Skywalker, that means he didn't bring balance to the Force and all that kind of stuff. Here's my sort of take on it. And I can't, you know, say this is 100% sure, but this is how I feel about it at any rate, all right? So follow me here. Some people think balance in the Force or balance of the force means there is equal good and evil in the world. So that if there's a good person, there has to be an evil person. And that's what balance is. But I've never seen balance of the force in those terms before. As a matter of fact, I think a great example of how I would define balance in the force was taken from actually The Last Jedi. Whether you like or hate that movie, there is one particular scene where Luke is talking to Rey on the island and he's describing like feeling the force and the balance of the force, the light and the dark. Remember, he talks about life and you see like porgs running around, death, and you see uh, 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 the body of some creature kind of decaying, right? In that, it's not saying that the balance of force means there's equal good and equal evil in the world, but rather life and death. And there's a balance in it. And you can have justice in the universe and have balance of the force. The presence of justice is balance in the force. Injustice is an imbalance in the force, I think. And some people see it the other way. But I think when everything is operating in perfect harmony, that is balance in the force. There is life, there is death, there is light, there is dark. And in the midst of all that, you can have justice in the universe and have balance in the force. Now, again, that might be different from other people's definitions about what balance in the force means and how does that apply to what Anakin's prophecy was and all that kind of stuff. But the way I see it kind of really does reflect the way it was described in that um, Last Jedi kind of clip about everything being in harmony actually is balance. Having justice in the universe is balance. And that's why when the Emperor and the Empire were in charge and control, that was an imbalance in the Force. So anyway, that's just how I kind of saw it. But there's never been one true de facto definition that hasn't been, you know, kind of retconned 500 times. So question here is, guys, what do you think about that? How do you define balance of the Force or balance in the Force or bring balance to the Force or whatever it is? How do you guys define that? Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Thanks a lot for being here. My name's John Campia, and until next time, bye-bye.